see. We got this coach jacket, which I feel like is pretty. I actually like it. I actually kept one for myself because I always kind of liked them, especially like they're just kind of cool. Like, and especially for the rain when it rains or it's kind of wet outside, it's it's definitely something that I would like. To, I would wear, you know, with, with a hoodie under it and just kind of just and it's with the black is just kind of just kind of clean. It's kind of clean and it's just. It's something about it, like, just, it's just kind of something that's, like, really streetwear about it. It's just not, it's something like one of those pieces that you kind of pair with, you know, probably some really funky sneakers, probably, like, you know, some foams, maybe, you know, something that, where you have this black tone, where it's black color, which is kind of a neutral color, you can wear, like, more, more bright colors beneath it, you know, because I like, I really like, you know, having a bunch of neutrals, especially in an outfit with a bunch of neutral color, preferably gray, but I like black too. Or, you know, and they have a pop of, you know, a kind of a nice wild color, you know, something that's just kind of out the way, like a, like a salmon or, you know, turquoise or, you know, something along the lines of a, a pastel maybe, a maroon, something that's just subtle. It just, you have all that kind of neutral, you have that nice pop and it really, you know, brings it out, even though it's a little bit of, you know, color. So, that's one of these pieces I like. Alright, so then, one of my favorite pieces that I kind of wear almost every day is this Python bracelet. It's, it's one of those bracelets that I feel like a lot of people kind of you have to kind of, I guess one of those things I do have to explain to kind of people to understand what it is. It's like pretty much a double wrap bracelet with a python uh, skin wrapped around on uh, lamb skin leather with, uh, you know, two gold, two gold clasps. And you pretty much kind of uh, wear it with, you know, with, with it being, you know, the calf skin, you know, lamb skin being kind of like a, a Tiffany almost or a turquoise. Um, it's kind of like one of those pieces that you could just wear when you have like a neutral kind of fit, like a good gray, kind of like really good for the summertime I feel, just because it has that nice kind of summer summer color, nice cool, nice kind of cool chill color. Nothing too crazy, but it has a nice little tint to it and kind of makes it pop. Um, I usually just kind of wear it with like anything with this to cop up with the gold, kind of like a gold one of my gold bracelets probably that I got from like the vintage store or or thrift store, whatever it's called nowadays. But it's um, definitely one of my favorite pieces from the, stuff, from the things that we have. Yeah. Nice little the texture on it's pretty cool. It's like it's pretty really, pretty legit. Like I I don't know why people I don't know if people like Python saying. I guess I got it for myself. I guess. Who knows. Um, I would say for anyone who has a dream or anyone who, you know, is aspiring to do something, you know, whether it be young or old, is that, you know, a dream is almost like an idea where if you don't really do anything about it, it doesn't mean shit. So you kind of have to put in the work and you really got to be passionate about it. I mean, anybody has a dream. I have a dream of being a comedian or a rapper, but am I really going to put in the work to do it? Probably not, because I don't really take it that seriously. And that's where you have to think about it as far as, you know, if you're really passionate about this dream or this idea that you have and you want to see it happen, you really got to put in the work. And, you know, it's not going to come easy. And you know, I think about it as, you know, other people, what did you see with dreams and see people, you know, high up, you know, the celebrities and, you know, people who kind of affect culture, you know, from, you know, the Kanye West to, to the you know, the style, you know, I guess you say provocateurs of the world, or, you know, the influencers, is that, you know, they really take an idea and they really take their passions or their dreams and make it a reality no matter what. And I feel like as a people or anybody with a dream, you have to really not give a fuck about anything else but that end goal, which is your dream and getting through that. And really learning and constantly learning about it all the time and really giving and giving yourself every day to really 
really do it. And if you have a job or you're doing something with school or anything that you feel like it might be interrupting that, it's really not interrupting. You just don't want to work for it. You stay up till late hours, probably get two, two hours, maybe hours sleep. That's it. You got to keep working. If you really want it, you'd make it happen. And that's why I feel like a lot of people just think you just got this dream, you got this passion, you got, you're talented. You can just make anything happen. That's not the case. A talent only goes so far. A dream only goes so far. At the end of, at the, end of the day, as people and as human beings, you have to take, you have to have that work ethic. You have to really want it. And people who really want it work. You want all the money and all the things that come with it, the byproducts, you have to work. And that's kind of what it is. I mean, if that's what you want, you have to work. Constantly work. And really, especially if you're like an, a very creative person or a creative doing something in the creative field, you really have to be working all the time, constantly. And sometimes you got to be like, you know, I got to stay in the house for a minute. I got to stay in the house tonight. Maybe even a month, maybe even six months, you know, to really get out your vision, to really get out that idea. And I feel like a lot of people really don't want to do it. But who am I to say? I'm just me.